Oh my God. Like I can't tell you how, <laughs> just this whole week, just this whole week has been extremely frustrating. Hi. So sorry I'm coming on this video with such a negative energy at a time like this. Like I really just needed you guys. Like I needed to talk to, to you guys. I'm having such a hard week. <laughs> I'm filming this video the night before I'm supposed to put out another video and uh, I'm I'm just really having a hard time. And I think I just need a vent. I don't know. If you're willing to listen, please stick around. Basically, like I spent all week trying to draft a video for you. <laughs> like just not what this is at all. But I am just like my perfectionist tendencies are like really, it's shutting me down right now. And it's, it's getting really frustrating because I spent so much time planning that video and I'm looking at my Final Cut Pro right now just in disgust. <laughs> I stayed in my office late on, on Wednesday night to film it in a place with lighting. Like right now I'm filming in the dark. Like no one wants to see a video that's in the dark. But I even tried to like film that video, like wake up at six in the morning to film it because I have to leave for work at eight and I don't get home until seven. And like, that's the whole day. So like if I'm gonna film a video, it has to be like on a Sunday. But I also need a day off and I don't want it to like come off as if like I'm, if this YouTube is such a burden on me, then like don't create a video. But like, that's not what I want. Like I, I think in the past I've not put out videos and I've just stopped when I get to this point. Like I see what I have in Final Cut and I hate it and I put it out and I feel terrible about it. And I just would rather not put out content that I don't like and that's not like up to my standard. But just watching it, it's just like, it's not what I wanted it to be. And it sucks because I know how much energy I put into that. But I have so much going on, you guys. <laughs> I'm extremely overwhelmed. I don't know how to handle it, but just like try and push through it because it, it's all good things that are happening right now in my life. And I'm so excited about everything that I'm doing. It's just too much. It's just too much. But like, I know that my goal has been to show up no matter what. But I'd rather show up like this and then just like show up with that. I mean, you don't even know what I'm referring to really, but sometimes it's just really hard when you just like don't feel like you're good enough, but like you're, you're just trying so hard. I just know that like if I don't put the time into making my videos what I really want them to be, that I just feel like I'm not gonna grow as a creator, you know? It's just a lot of, it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of energy and time that I really want to put into it. But it sucks, like I'm here on a Saturday night, it's seven o'clock, 7.30, I have the whole night to edit a video. What do you say we just like do some things to get out of the funk together? I got the goodies. This is Paolo Santo. I'm not sure how ethically sourced this is, but I know it's important to try and make an effort to get ethically sourced Palo Santo and like sage and stuff. But this helps to like clear my mind and cleanse the space. And I think that's what I need right now. I got this lighter though. <laughs> Surprisingly, this may bring me more joy than this does. For one, the nozzle. Come on, come on, snake, come on, snake. So there's a safety lock on it. You're gonna see why. Look. Lightsaber, hello. So I've never lit Palo Santo with something like this, but it's. I think it's mainly meant for candles, but I, I don't have another lighter, so we're gonna try this out. Oh my 
gosh, this looks scary actually. Okay, we'll stick with that a little bit. <sighs> I have very little patience left in me after this week. But you know when just so many things in a week go wrong and you're just like, if one more thing goes wrong, I'm gonna lose my mind. That was me yesterday getting on the elevator up to my apartment and I was waiting outside the elevator. The elevator was on like the second floor. So I like click it to come down to the first floor. The door just like opens like maybe six inches. It just goes gunk and stops. And it does this sometimes, like the elevator door gets stuck. Like I had a lift or seamless drive lift. I had a seamless delivery guy like come up to my floor and the elevator just like did the same thing. And he was like, uh, excuse me, miss, can you help me? It did that to me yesterday on the first floor. It wouldn't like reset itself. So it was just stuck there until someone called the elevator from the top floor of this apartment complex. And then it closed. And then I was like, where, where is it going? It just totally bypassed my stop. I was very frustrated about that. But it was like, it's not a big deal, obviously. Like I'm being really dramatic about it, but it was like the one of the last straws. And then I waited for it to get to the top floor and then come all the way down and this guy walks out of the elevator like he did nothing wrong. No, it really wasn't his fault. But I'm like, why? Like just though that was the last straw and then I cried. So another thing that brings me joy in a moment of stress is candles. We bought this together, remember? Ah! If I'm using this wrong, someone please tell me. <laughs> I like to sign myself up to do a lot of things. And then I like to complain about being busy. That's one of my toxic traits. And then when I feel like I have no control over my life, because I'm overwhelmed, I micromanage everyone in my life. I found that one out in therapy. What would happen if I just chilled out and let what be bees? <laughs> would be bees? What? Let it be what it is. I'm really glad I'm making a YouTube video right now because if this just happened to me and I wasn't in the good spirit that y'all have made me so far, my root beer just exploding on me would have sent me over the edge. Um, yeah, everywhere, so. It's really not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Chelsea, it's not a big deal. Like this, but the second that I get calm, something happens. And it's just usually something stupid that if I actually thought about doing the thing before I did the thing, it would be fine. If I can't be mad at the root beer, it's just doing what it does. It was worth it. The energy here is weird. And I promise that I have videos coming where I leave my apartment. I'm really sorry about that. That was, obviously that was not my intention. Stay tuned for next week. It's gonna be a little bit more interesting, maybe more high vibrational. I don't know if anyone else needed this at all. Like, I don't feel like I'm alone right now. Thanks for being there for me in this random last second, like meltdown video. <laughs> uh, if you've been having a tough week as well, leave it in the comments and I'll send you a hug emoji. Thank you so much for watching. If you actually like this video, just give it a thumbs up. So have a great week and I will see you in my next one. Bye.